Uh, hello everyone, it's it's Xander here from Xander's Bricks. This package is really heavy. Hang on, give me one sec. Hello everyone, it's Xander here from Xander's Bricks. Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but we got a really special package and I thought maybe it would be important that we show this bad boy off. So uh, as you can probably read, this thing's fragile apparently. So. I'm very excited to crack this open. I think I know what's inside, so let's take a look. Time to see what's in this bad boy. Ooh, what could it be? What could it be? I have no idea, but let's keep going, I guess. Instructions? We don't need those, man. We don't need those. Um, uh, nah, hold up. I need those. I need those, man. I need those. Wait a minute. Today's video is brought to you by Shop Pop Display, the US based display case company that makes display cases for all sorts of hobbies, whether it's Lego, Funko Pop, or anything in between. They've got a display case for you. Score 10% off right now using code Xander10 at checkout. We'll dive into them a bit more further in this video. Let's get to it. If you're waiting for something funny to happen, you're gonna have to keep waiting. I'm just peeling off protective seal, I guess. Whoops, I forgot to peel some film. This process is taking a really long time. I'm just gonna do the rest off camera and save you guys that time. Finally. All right, a few more steps. <laughs> And that completes the assembly. Now, obviously, this needs to be mounted up on a wall, but for now, it's pretty freaking awesome. As you might have saw, this front here is magnets, so I can pop it off like so pretty easily, um, which most display cases I've seen don't have that ability. You have to unscrew everything. That's a lot of work just to get like a minifigure or to replace some. So this is really awesome. And on top of that, the assembly, although I made a ton of mistakes, was pretty easy. It was easy to find where I made a mistake and how to fix it. Uh, and overall pretty clear. Now, you might be wondering, Xander, where did you get this giant display case from? And that is a great question. This is from Shop Pop Displays, which is the first major US display case company for Lego. And not only Lego, they make display cases for all sorts of things. 
but this of course is a Lego channel. So we're gonna focus on the Lego, which uses actual Lego studs as the connection points for all the minifigures, which was that section that I had to fast forward through because it took me forever. But it is totally worth it as I'm gonna be able to display so, so many figs in this case here. And of course, Shop Pop Display is super easy to use. You can check out their website, a wide variety of not only minifigure cases, but set cases and even custom ones uh, if you wanted to do that. On top of that, they have super fast shipping and also very reliable customer support. So I would highly recommend checking out Shop Pop Display. I will link them, of course, down below. Okay, so I went ahead and wiped it down a bit and I also did the math because I totally forgot how big this thing was, but if anyone can guess how many minifigures this thing holds, you can let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but I will be revealing the answer in three, two, one. I don't know why I counted down like that. 192 minifigures can fit inside this beautiful thing, which is going to prove to probably be very difficult to keep dust free, but hopefully I'm wrong about that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start loading in some minifigures and then I'll mount studs to the wall. I think that's probably the best bet. I don't know, but I'm gonna get to that. And after many, many days of sorting, organizing, searching, and just trying to find pieces for all 192 minifigures that would be going into this case, I got super close to filling it up. So let's take a look at it. So this case, like I said, holds 192 minifigures and you can see I've got some gaps in it here and there, but most of it is in fact full. So as you can see, I've kind of got it sorted out here. So we've got Batman on the top, we're missing a few there. We've got all of his psychics and side characters on the bottom here, along with Alfred and himself again in Bruce Wayne form. Jokers and villains and all sorts of shapes and sizes. We've also got another space here, which will fill in uh, a space here for Aquaman. I'm almost done finding all of his parts. Again, space for Luke, space for Han. We decided to do uh, Star Wars down in the bottom here and Indiana Jones over here, just to kind of fill in the case because I don't have 192 um, DC minifigures. So maybe someday I'll be able to fill it all with DC, but for now, this is what we have. And I gotta say, it looks awesome. Now in the coming days here, I'll of course be able to fill in these. Uh, this one will probably be filled with either Bo-Katan or uh, Baby Yoda, I'm not sure yet. Uh, then this space here is gonna be Lord Sidious. Um, I already mentioned these ones. We've got one more character to go here. Uh, and characters that I'm just gonna ultimately be getting very soon or finishing up very, very soon. But of course, the case doesn't have to live down here on the floor. This looks hideous. So instead, we're gonna mount it up on the wall. So and I'm gonna get to that and I'll be right back. Hopefully this won't take as many days as filling this thing did. Let's get to that. So yeah, that didn't take long at all. It's up on the wall and I gotta say it looks fantastic. Now, getting to fill this case was a lot of work, but it did give me a chance to put together a ton of minifigures I haven't even seen in ages. And it also made me realize how poorly my minifigures were sorted, which gave me the opportunity to sort out a bunch of my minifigures, even some outside of this case. But I won't show you guys that just because that's not what this episode's about. It's all about this case, which as I mentioned before, is from Shop Pop Displays, which has all sorts of displays for all sorts of hobbies, all sorts of sizes. So you can definitely find something for you perfect for you and if you want to do so you can check out more about their shop down below link in the description i'll also have a discount code there so you can get a little bit of a discount while you're getting these awesome cases all sorts of sizes like i mentioned all sorts of hobbies there's definitely something for you or a friend or family member i'm sure you'll find on shop pop displays but that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on such an awesome addition to my collection. I cannot wait to share more with you guys very soon. See you guys.